This is James from Gamefront with our Landmarks walkthrough for L.A. Noir. This is the sixth and final video, so if you've followed along this far and picked up these on your own game, then you'll get the trophy slash achievement that's available at the end. So to start this one off, we're going to want to fast travel to 3rd Street and Flower. Well, we're going to be heading east. So, let's take it to the game. Alright, we're going through this tunnel. Uh, right on the other side of this tunnel is going to be our first landmark. You really got to get close to this one for it to activate. So once we exit the tunnel, we're going to go slightly to the right. Or actually, we're going to full-fledged turn right in order to get this to trigger. It's Angel's Flight. I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, it's a landmark, that's for sure. So let's take it to the map so I can show you where we are here. It's uh, basically 3rd Street and Hill the corner of 3rd Street and Hill. So, uh, I'm gonna warn you, there's some editing coming up soon. But, uh, trust me, this is not, this is not like uh, special effects finding landmarks. These landmarks are really here. I just had some driving trouble. And, let's see, where is it gonna be? There it is! You just missed out in five minutes of me getting furious yelling at people. So we are now at the Bradbury building which was just so close to our last landmark. Let's take a look on the map. All right, so this is Broadway and 3rd Street, which is just one block away from the previous one on Hill Street and 3rd Street. So there it is, the Bradbury Building. And uh, all right, so we're going to have to back this up and go back on 3rd Street again. And we're going to continue our journey to the L.A. Cold Storage Building. So yeah, we're going to back this bitch up back onto 3rd Street. We're going to follow down 3rd Street for quite a while until we hit Central Avenue. 3rd uh, Street is going to have a snake in it, so we're going to... Uh, I'll tell you when we're coming up to it. So yeah, we're driving down, and remember, keep LA safe. Drive safely. So here we are, going down 3rd Street, and we're going to take a right and then an immediate left just to stay on 3rd Street. We did it. It wasn't too bad, right? So we're still on 3rd Street, driving down the road. And what a beautiful road it is. I mean, that's LA. Passing over San Pedro in a moment. No need to turn there. But coming up next, uh, the next major street is going to be Central. So we're going to take a left-hand turn there. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, excuse me. All right. And when I said left, I meant right. So here we go. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Right. So there, there's some more editing. Trust me, you're you're the lucky one that didn't have to see that. All right, so there it is, the L.A. Cold Storage Company. Let's take a look on the map since uh, there was some pretty confusing directions there. So the L.A. Cold Storage Company is between Central Avenue and Almeida Street. It's on 4th Street. So from turning on 3rd, uh, at the next major street that you can turn left down is 4th Street. You really can't miss it. So now we're going to be taking a right on Almeida Street. So we'll be heading south towards Industrial Avenue. Which is a couple blocks down. It's going to be a drive. You might get lucky and see some edits here. spoil any surprises, but uh, I won't make you see what happened right there. It was frustrating. It was LA drivers. It was not my fault. So we just took a left-hand turn onto Industrial Avenue. We're going to be following this all the way to Mateo Street, where we're going to take a right, and our next landmark's going to be really close to there. So, alright, there might be another edit here. I'm not taking any blame for anything. Uh, nothing's my fault. So here we are, we're taking a right-hand turn, and immediately we've got the National Biscuit Company landmark. So, let's take a look at the map, just to show everybody where it's at. This area is kind of confusing. It's between Industrial Avenue, or I guess it's Industrial Street, didn't know, and 7th Street. So if you uh, basically go down Mateo between Industrial and 7th, then you're going to find the Biscuit Company. All right, the next step is flipping this bitch around and going north on Mateo Street. So let's make a real nice smooth turn here. All right. And now we're traveling north on Mateo. Passing uh, the 
Biscuit Company one more time. And grooving through traffic. Excuse me. We're taking a right on 6th Street. Straight up here, in the middle of this bridge is going to be uh, another landmark. It's going to be one of the viaducts, I believe, uh, the 6th Street Viaduct. So let's take a look. There it is, 6th Street Viaduct. So it, it's pretty simple to find uh, this one because it's the viaduct on 6th Street, or if you would like to call it, Whitler R Boulevard at the other end. So um, now we're going to be heading uh, over the bridge, and we're going to basically loop around and take the 4th Street Viaduct, which will be the last landmark of the 30 that we cover in this video. So if you've done all of them up until this point, you will get a trophy when you get to this last, uh, this last landmark. I'm not going to get the trophy because I did these videos in a slightly different order. Just trust me. It, you'll, get, you'll, get the, you'll get the achievement. So yeah, we took a left-hand turn when we got to the end of Whitler Boulevard, and we're going to take this street passing a couple of roads, the minor ones that have left-hand turns, and the next major street, we're going to be turning left. So here we go, going through traffic, lots of trucks over here. And a left. Well, that was pretty smooth. And here it is, another bridge. In the middle of this bridge, we're going to pass a viaduct, and that's where the final landmark is located. I better get out of this guy's Just as quick. All right, here it is, the fourth straight viaduct. This concludes all of the landmarks in L.A. Noir. but let's take a quick look at the map. It should be self-explanatory where this is, but I just want to make it really clear so nobody has any reason to question where it's at. There it is. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can pick up a, an entire walkthrough of L.A. Noir at GameFront.com's L.A. Noir walkthrough page. This is James. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.